Alright, yo, welcome back to the Drunken Monkey Gaming Channel. This is Cold Blooded here playing Stellar Blade. And we're going to continue where we left off from last episode, where we made it through a supply camp, which is a boss battle. And yeah, it took me a couple times. Okay, I lied. More than a couple times. You get the idea. So let's go. Okay, but how do I upgrade you, bud? We're not that far along in the game. I know we're gonna have a boss fight. This is definitely screaming boss arena. That distress signal's a trap. It's gotta be. Hmm. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Eve, look up! Holy crap! Pick me up. You gotta dodge that, buddy.
Oh, back up. What is this? My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core. If she were... Something you need to know. The truth is. Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please! Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. What the? Uh. A survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orko who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. 
think about it. Yes, I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes! It's surprising to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's out, but it's weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. city underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical leave Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Looks like they built the city deep and high. Reorder. Ooh, I got a new diving suit. Any new goodies? Mart mine. Yeah, we'll buy two of those. Okay, so this is like a basic camp.
Okay, what does it do? Oh, it's a base decoration. What about the suit? We'll put that on for a minute. around the city supposed to protect it from Natiba attacks. The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Well, I guess we're going to get to look around a little bit later. there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. Ooh. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. How long are you going to make me wait? <laughs> Sorry. I hope that day comes soon. Get to explore this area. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Well, you know, I gotta look for goodies. I don't want to miss anything. there replenish ammo what ammo Can we rest now?
Can't talk to you, but we can talk to you. Yeah, okay. Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Good luck. The memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. See, we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Nateba, the leader of all other Natebas. Well, then, I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, here. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to knock down any books. Whoa, that's cool. This way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here.
Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Dave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Nativa now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. Angel, Zion has several rules. Usually it's a temporary measure to prevent the fall of the city. You must always remember this. The city is in grave danger. Other than that, it's all up to you, really. I wouldn't mind if you saved us. The Zion number three, the Zion, Prophet Oracle, Reward sentinel warriors. We must pay respects to the fallen sentinels who gave us their life, who gave their lives for Zion. An award ceremony for the 17 sentinels under the watch of Sentinel Captain Mann was held today in the presence chamber. Three members who died in the great desert received gold stars. Sentinel Captain Mann received a silver star and the remaining 13 received bronze stars. In this commemorative speech, Captain Mann said, we've lost many comrades in our fight with the Natibis. They were true warriors. He gave credit to his former soldiers by adding, the remaining sentinels would do the work of many and ensure their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Meanwhile, armed assailants broke into the ceremony and caused chaos, shouting that citizens are being silenced and brutally massacred. It tarnished the shine of the, this glorious ceremony. Measures will need to be taken regarding these anti-colony criminals. Angel, I heard you contributed to resolving the problem with the hyperdrive. Keep it up, and do what you can. As long as it benefits Zion. Well, okay.
feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Abe, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. There are people in this world who need Eve's help. Listen to their stories and complete their request to be re rewarded. You can swipe down on the pad to open the missions list. Here you can read the list of missions you have accepted and their descriptions. Okay. Where's that? Is that camp down? That was down here. Madam. What? You looking for sisters, Junk? Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Okay. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. Heard. Where's there a camp? I want to save. Sorry. Y yes. Are you heading out? All right. You take care. Well, you only gave me Come one. Back soon, I hope. All right. You stay safe.
Let us pray. Okay, we can find a Francis. You know, I was just thinking that when I saw the soda machine. Are we going to be able to find a can? And I wonder how many cans we missed so far in this game. We find salvation. Okay. To citizens, sentinels are looking for potential residents for the cradle. Find peace in the safe cradle. Conserve your memory and contribute to Zion's energy and resource shortage. Sweet. Now, can we save? What? to use the exile's passage without permission Ooh, sorry even if it's you i can't give you special treatment not even for the angel oh come on
company passcodes for this, huh? I wonder if those are going to be like the rewards. Uh, Angel. I, I can't believe the Angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm, uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. Of course, I'll do what I can to help you, as well. Really? Then, I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I? Now? I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the Wasteland. When I ran into some Nativas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! you off guard no no it's okay what brings you here oh you can shop oh nice I'll take one of those. Oh, so this is what you can use Bitcoins for. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll be back. Come back if you need anything. Find your bike herd. Okay, new phone.
drone? Stretch your arm out in front of you. The drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. No, this is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> now try hitting the target. Well, you're moving fast. Now, oh. focus. Let's try again. Relax. Now, focus. Perfect. That's amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn kid, tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. All right, I had to check. Sorry. Well, now this is going to be a long episode. Uh, yeah, sorry for that. I might maybe cut it. Not sure. But we're going to cut it here. I mean, cut the episode into two parts. But we're going to cut this this episode right now. So until next time, peace.